absolute value. So anytime you see these nice long bars, they're kind of like parentheses, but they're just straight up and down. That is your absolute value symbol. So what does absolute value mean? Well, think of it as in terms of distance. So if I were driving to the college from my house, say that's 10 miles, but if I take the exact same road, the exact same route from the college back to my house, which is another 10 miles, does it erase the miles on my odometer? No, because distance is always positive. So when you're thinking of absolute value, you wanna think of distance. So everything that's inside your absolute value symbol, you're saying, okay, what's the distance this is from zero? Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're going in the positive or if you're going the negative direction, we're just calculating distance. So it doesn't matter if we're going east or west or north or south, we're just saying how far is it? How far am I traveling from zero to this number? So that's what your absolute value means. So keeping that in mind, we have what's inside this absolute value symbol, symbol is six. So what's the distance this positive six is from zero? Or what is the absolute value of positive six? Well, it's just six units away from zero. So we're just putting it, how far is it from, okay? On our next one, we're gonna go ahead and take the absolute value of positive six, which is six, but then we're taking the opposite of that. So this negative sign is on the outside. So we're gonna calculate what's on the inside which is just a positive six, but then we're taking the opposite or we're changing it. So the negative absolute value of six is negative six. In our third example, we have the absolute value of negative six. So this time the negative's inside the absolute value symbol. So that means we're looking at that integer, that negative six. How far is negative six from zero? So remember, we're not worried about direction, we're just worrying about distance. So it doesn't matter if we're going left or right. How far is negative six from zero? So negative six is also just six units away from zero. And then our last example is the negative absolute value of negative six. So when you look at this, you might think of parentheses, well, double negative, that means a positive. But absolute value symbol, they are not parentheses. They are not the same. So we treat them as if they are. So when we're talking about order of operations, if we see an absolute value symbol in a long equation and we have to use our order of operations to solve it, then we want to go ahead and simplify what's inside that absolute value symbol first. Go ahead and simplify it as if it's a set of parentheses. However, an absolute value symbol is not parentheses. So keeping in mind that we're treating them as if they are, we're going to go ahead and simplify what's inside of this first. So inside the absolute value symbol, we have a negative six. So the distance that negative six is away from zero is just a positive six. But again, we're taking the opposite of whatever that is, or we're taking the negative of it. So that negative sign is going to come over. So keep in mind, this is one way absolute value symbols are different from your parentheses. If you have a negative inside and a negative outside a set of parentheses, that equals a positive. Because it's like saying negative 1 times a negative 3, or a negative 3 times a negative 6, and that equals a positive. But in this case, this absolute value sign is not, you're not performing an, uh, a multiplication operation here. You're simplifying what's inside of it. You're calculating the distance of this, of whatever's inside that, op uh, that absolute value symbol, and then you're just taking the opposite of it. So keep that in mind when you see those double negatives. The double negative for an absolute value is different from a double negative for uh, parentheses.